Hello everyone, hope you're doing great. Welcome to Elios Tech channel. If you're new here, welcome. And I'm so happy to see you all once again. Today, my topic is what is DNS spoofing? What is DNS poisoning? What is DNS? How DNS work? Which tactic and technique does the hacker use in order to snap? In order to sniff this kind of information, in order to redirect our website, in order to redirect our request to their fake magic boxes, to their fake website, or to their fake DNS server. How they know our social media username and password? How they know about our bank information? How they are achieving this kind of nasty activity? And I thought, what if I share this information with all of you to be careful, to be more aware, to be more alert, to not become a victim of this kind of activity? These all questions will be answered by this clip. Okay, before I start talking what is DNS spoofing, it would be a nice idea to talk about how DNS work, what is DNS. DNS stands for Domain Name System. The main purpose of DNS is to transfer our host name to IP and IP to host name. Allow me to give you an example in here. For example, if client A want to access www.abc.com, if we have no DNS in our diagram, Client A must type 200.150.200.192 in a state of www.abc.com. So if client A type this IP address, then the client A will be able to access www.abc.com. For accessing 10 to 11 or more than 50 or 100 websites, it's very hard for us to remember each website by IP address. And top of that, computer doesn't know a human language, computer no binary number. So I don't want to talk about what is binary number, but IP address is a combination of binary number. That is why the DNS server came over and took the all responsibility. Now we access most of the websites through their names, such as www.google.com, www.abc.com, whatever website you like, you're accessing through the name, through the host name. So this was a brief information about DNS and let's talk about what is DNS spoofing. Before I talk about what is DNS spoofing, there is another attack before DNS spoofing. I read an article and I saw some uh, technical folks they share their opinion so which is good but they forgot to mention some of them they forgot to mention what is another step before the hacker get inside and accomplish a DNS spoofing they mostly do the ARP spoofing first and then they come to the DNS spoofing because they just want to put theirself in the middle like a man in the middle attack redirect my request to his machine and after his machine and send my request to the public or to the internet so let me give you a brief information about ARP spoofing top of that if you're a big fan of what is ARP spoofing what is ARP poisoning I have recorded a specific video for that I will suggest you to go ahead and watch that video as well I try my best to see if I can suggest here as well a brief information about what is ARP spoofing for example hackers somehow got access to my internet or my local area network uh, and here, since he found that I'm accessing www.abc.com, he deceived and snapped either the modem or my computer. So he changed his IP address, he changed his MAC address either to my MAC address or to modem MAC address in order to redirect my request to inside his computer and after that, it goes to abc.com. Before any negative activity in my network, if I access www.abc.com, for example, client A want to access www.abc.com. My request goes to my local DNS and after my local DNS, it goes to the www.abc.com website. And after that, the www.abc.com web server will send a request 
to the DNS server of www.abc.com. Hey, there's a guy, a guy asking for 200.150.200.192. Do you have any uh, name reserved under this IP? Then the DNS server of www.abc.com will say that, yeah, oh yeah, the guy is asking for www.abc.com. Then I'm able to access the www.abc.com. Now, since the hacker know most of the time they are a step ahead of us, they put their computer in the middle, like corpus spoofing or any types of other attack. They want to somehow redirect my request and instead of going to DNS or instead direct go to the modem or router if I have a firewall in here, they redirect my request to inside his computer and after his computer my request will go to outside. Since you have all information about my internet activity, for example, if I need to get some information about my bank, I have to log into the website and type my username and password and grab that information. Or if I log Facebook, for example, any types of social media, if I want access, I have to type my username and password. So now let's talk about what is DNS spoofing. DNS spoofing, since hacker has already accomplished the goal, which was ARP spoofing, he, he, he got the all request from my computer and after his computer, my request will go to www.abc.com. This is an example for only one website. So if I ever want to access www.abc.com, I have to type my username and password for authentication and authorization. And this company make sure that I'm the right person. So here, it's not the their side problem, it's inside our network problem because attack is not outside the internet, attack is inside the internet. It's like local area network, it's not a wide area network. What the hacker do, uh, he ran his own virtual machine operating system. He has a, I said, a virtual box or virtual, uh, he has its own um, magic boxes. He ran its own virtual machine. He has a DNS, he has a fake DNS, and he has a fake website. And he know, since he is capturing all my information, he know what I'm accessing, what I'm going to, he know which website I'm accessing, he know which kind of website I supposed to access. Since he know that I'm accessing www.abc.com, first he's accessing what is www.abc.com. He made a fake version of www.abc.com in order to deceive my request. Now, if I want, or client A, he want to access www.abc.com, my request will not go to DNS server. My request will go to the hacker and, and the hacker computer. The hacker computer snap my request and send it to his fake DNS server. Now, what I see, I see the same version of website like www.ebc.com is the same. It's very hard for non-technical folks to find out whether it is right or wrong. But for technical folks, we mostly focus on the content of the URL the content of URL. If that is HTTPS, if that's HTTPS double dot forward slash www.abc.com, then that's secret. If not, they will run its own fake DNS server. On top of that, we know this is the common DNS IP and the hacker will change it to some local DNS IP, for example. So I'm sure it's very hard for you to find out, like, let me see, oh, what is the DNS? If you do, uh, and it's look up to find out is it accurate or not. It's very hard for you. For technical folks, we can easily find this kind of activity. Here's a tip. If you want to access www.abc.com, type your username and password. And you know that your username and password is right. The website prompt you that your username and password is wrong. So you have to hold your RSS and you have to make sure that you are accessing the accurate website or the genuine version of the www.abc.com website. Otherwise, you become a victim. It was a good tip as well. So, since I typed my username and password two times, three times, this guy got the all information. Means he know what is my username, what is my password. The same if I want to access a bank information, if I want to get some information about my social media. When I log into anything through the internet he has the all fake version of that dns he will snap my request and he redirect my request to his fake version of that websites or that uh, dns or that or whatever i'm accessing so that is why the next time when i log into my social media and i find some nasty activity in my social media such as they putting some pictures, they add some advertising there, or they just capture disinformation selling to the 
uh, dark markets. This all information was about DNS spoofing. So he redirect my original DNS IP to his fake DNS server and redirect my request and gave me a fake version of www.abc.com. This was all about DNS spoofing. What is DNS poisoning? This is the most dangerous one. I'm sure this is for system engineer, network architecture, cybersecurity engineer, because the main purpose of DNS poisoning is that they want to access and they want to access our DNS server. They throw themselves inside our DNS server. Since if I want to access www.abc.com so the IP is 200.150 or 200.192 means it's already reserved in here in case if I want to reserve it with that DNS or I do have my own DNS server I have a record of some website which is very important and I do have a public IP for that once the hacker get inside my DNS server they change the all DNS record and DNS we have a DNS lookup zone and we have a DNS forward lookup zone they change some of my DNS record to the fake name of their website now what is the problem if they got inside my DNS server and they change some record of my DNS to their benefit for this time if you remember we had a DNS spoofing it was one time attack it's like one website attack or one client attack it's one client attack right so dns poisoning is that he get inside and do the poisoning inside our dns server now if client b want to access wwebc.com this guy is not doing attack man in the middle attack this guy is not putting yourself in the middle same as dns spoofing and my dns is 192.168.1.10 if I want to access www.abc.com, my request automatically go to the fake DNS version of the hacker and after that it goes to the www.abc.com. So for the hacker, if they get inside our DNS server, it's much easier and they will get a lot of information rather than targeting a single computer for uh, collecting the information or so on. So DNS poisoning is when they got to access inside our server and change the record of the DNS. And if <clears throat> this was only a sample website, the next time, for example, what if I want to access www.facebook.com? So the facebook.com has its unique public IP, but what this guy is changing it to different fake public DNS name. Now, if anyone if anyone who work in this company or in this organization connect their computer whether they're using wire and wireless the all request goes to his machine and after his machine it goes to the outside or outside the internet in poisoning is one of the hardest um, attack uh, so far registered and some of the companies and research shows that it's very hard for hackers to do the DNS poisoning but it doesn't mean that DNS poisoning is not exist it is there we need to make sure and check our DNS record most of the time and we need to check the lock of DNS server most of the time to see if there is any we can find any suspicious activity through our DNS server as well um, this all information was about what is DNS spoofing and what is DNS poisoning? It, these are very important. It is not only for technical folks, but I'm sure it was good for um, non-technical folks as well, okay? I hope the information was very helpful. If you think it was very helpful, um, just um, let's feed the YouTube uh, by simply like the video if you think it was very helpful and subscribe my channel. Until next time, stay safe, be brave, and of course, see you next time.